So I'm going to show you how to create this DIY pinata which is great for birthdays, anniversaries, whatever. So I'm taking some cardboard and this was a cardboard box that I opened out and I am going to draw the number or the letter whatever you want you can draw it onto this cardboard. Now you're going to see here that I am using a pen which is the first mistake and then I'm freehanding it. You're going to see later on that I take a measuring tape and I should have taken a pencil but I'm going to take a measuring tape and my pen and then I'm going to make sure that each of the sides are the same measurement. Just keep watching. So remember I told you I was taking a measuring tape. You can also use a ruler but I couldn't find mine. So I'm making um, the width of this about I want to say maybe four inches wide and I'm going to make sure that as I said all of the sides are the same measurement. So this is not the same um, thing that I chose So I made so many mistakes that I just decided to do it over. Nonetheless, I am using an exacto blade and very carefully I am going to cut out around um, where I drew. And just to mention, I have a piece of cardboard underneath to protect my work surface or rather my toes. <laughs> So then as you can see, I'm just going to take away the excess cardboard. And when you're done, you will have something that looks like this. So I'm taking my template which I created and then I'm going to trace and create a second side. So remember this is going to be a 3D object so you need a front and you need a back. So this is all I'm doing. Taking my pen and then I'm going to do the same thing. Take my exacto blade, cut that out and I would have the front and back of my pinata. And as I said, these are the two identical pieces here. So I'm taking my measuring tape. Again, if you have a ruler, take it because it'll be so much easier. And I am going to create um, some strips which are about three inches, no, about one and a half inches wide. Now, the wider you create it, the more you'll be able to pack inside of your pinata and I'm taking a piece of card as I said I did not have a ruler which would make it so much easier so I'm just as I said creating these strips and I'm taking some masking tape now and the strips that I created I'm gonna line it up against the edge of one of the pieces of card that I drew the number on and just watch what I'm doing you're gonna see it's all gonna come together and I'm taking the card and because I'm using a number which has curves and grooves 
I'm just gonna take the strip of cardboard and basically trace it not trace trace is not the word um, I can't even think of the word right now but you can see exactly what I'm doing I'm taking the cardboard and I'm placing it all along so that it fits all of the curves all of the grooves crevices everything like that So this is what one side looks like completed. Now here is where the second piece of cardboard comes in. I'm going to place that over it and then taking my scotch tape or whatever tape you have, I'm going to tape it down. So this is the 3D pinata now. And these are the streamers that I'm using this is just the colors that I chose and I'm taking one color first and I'm just measuring it out this is going to be on the seams so I'm taking some glue and then I'm just gonna place that onto the seam area taking a brush a paintbrush and then I'm just gonna place the strip onto that now as i said this is just to cover the seam you're gonna see what i do with the remaining streamers to decorate this pinata so i folded the streamers um numerous times and i'm taking my scissors and i'm gonna cut it halfway only halfway you don't want to cut all the way up so as i said i'm placing some slits into the streamers about halfway up the width of the streamer So once that's done, I'm just going to open up the streamers and I did this because it saves a bunch of time. You don't want to be sitting down cutting out um, slits or splits into these streamers. So this saves a lot of time. So I'm taking my glue and I'm going to place it all along the box now i'm gonna work in sections because i don't want the glue to dry so then i'm gonna just smooth it down with my paintbrush and then i'm gonna apply the streamer now i'm placing the streamer um i want to say halfway on the glue halfway off of the glue just so it has this fringe effect Alright, so you can see here that I have different colors. I didn't go ahead and show the rest of the process because it's the same thing. Just layer the colors how you want them to look. What you're seeing here is me taking my X-Acto blade and I'm cutting um, not a square, not a full rectangle. I'm cutting three sides of the rectangle out and with this opening, this is where I'm going to be able to place my sweets, my chocolates, my treats, whatever you want to put into the pinata then with my exacto blade again i'm gonna go a little further up the box and i'm gonna place two holes and these holes are what i'm gonna place my string into if you want to hang this pinata up
So just tie in the ends of the string together. And then you can see I have my string. So I'm just taking some duct tape and this is just going to help to secure the string. Make sure that it's, it's nice and snug and doesn't go anywhere. Now you can use a glue gun if you want to as well. I just chose to use duct tape. And this is the completed look once I finish the top. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click my face and subscribe to my channel. So, until next time, bye-bye.